everyone, I am Viryat Birles Kazan, and the topic of my research is TFL Junior Students' Opinion about Grading Classroom Participation. In this presentation, we are going to talk about purpose of the research, research questions, literature review, and participants of this particular research, and methods and instrumentations, and data collection tools, questionnaire and interview, and research stage that I followed, and results and findings of this research. And we're going to conclude all of this information. So this research paper aims at identification of positive or negative feelings TFL students maintain while being graded based on their classroom participation and the description of their perception and attitudes towards classroom participation grading. There are two questions that I've strived, attempted to give an answer. The first question is, what are the attitudes of junior students towards classroom participation grading as an assessment criterion? While the second question is, what are the advantages and disadvantages of CPG from learner perspective? In the literature review part of this research paper, we've discussed about the definitions of classroom participation discussed by researchers such as Fassinger and Birchfield and others. Also, we talked about the background history of classroom participation, which is studied by Mello, researcher Mello, and also about the significance and advantages and disadvantages of CP, uh, which were discussed and studied by researchers such as Jacobs and Chase, Jones and Brookfield, etc. Also, complexities and surrounding uh, CP, also that uh, the factors that influence CP were discussed in this uh, literature review part of the research. Participants of this research were 29 third-year students of two foreign language speciality at Suleymanti Nereal University. Students who have filled the questionnaire and were interviewed were not selected based on any specific criterion, but were chosen on a voluntary basis. Questionnaire form was sent to the group chat of TFL students, students who have answered the questions in Google form and have left their emails or any other contact details were sent consent letters and invited to the interview. Students being interviewed had full right to skip the question or refuse to answer the questions. Mixed method, which is a combination of both qualitative and quantitative methods, is used in this research work, contributes to the collection of both generalizable numerical data and detailed in-depth data. This method enables us to make use of the benefits of above-mentioned two methods. In this research, two data collection tools were used. The first is questionnaire and second is interview. Let's first talk about the questionnaire. In this research work, questionnaire was designed to identify student position about CPG, but responses were expected to be superficial and not detailed. It contains seven questions, two polar questions with other options included, two open-ended questions about advantages and disadvantages of CPG, one question about extent of belief, and two multiple choice questions. Turning to interview, interview enables researchers to explore not only the speech of the interview, but also their behavior and non-verbal communication language. It helps us to collect richer source of information. This particular interview has nine open-ended questions that were constructed in order to find out more about students' subjective opinion regarding classroom participation grading. Let's talk about the stages of this research. First step is the revision of questionnaire and interview questions. Second is sending a questionnaire to the TFL group chat. Third is collecting data and contacting those who are willing to participate in interview. Next step was sending consent letter and sending questions. Also analyzing collected data. And lastly, comparing with existing data and making possible conclusions. Let's turn to the most important part of this research, results and findings. There are four main findings revealed from this survey. So the first is general attitude of TFL students towards CPG is more positive than negative. Out of 29 participants of this interview and questionnaire, only two students indicated their attitude as negative and they said that they do not like CPG. And out of 29 students, only three said that 
CPG is not necessary and is not important. Second finding is some of the secondary data results were justified by these survey findings. We're talking about the disadvantages and advantages of CPG. Following advantages were mentioned both in secondary data and in this particular research uh, findings. So the first is better comprehension of the materials, better preparation, better in advance and regular prefer preparation for the lessons, and students taking responsibility over their own learning, opportunity to share their opinions, and opportunity to build interaction with their peers. And following disadvantages were mentioned, lack of clear and understandable rubrics, teacher being biased and also subjective in his assessment, also personality of the students which might be shy and introverted, and also students who are prioritizing their grade over their knowledge. Next finding is rubrics play a crucial role in CPG and contributes to the better overall performance of all students. The last finding is students are aware of CPG benefits, but adding point, bonus points instead of formal assessment appears to be more preferable for them. In conclusion, without any doubt, no person can claim about the absolute effectiveness and as well as absolute uselessness of CPG. And that leads to the idea that learners and their teachers should strive to get best from the CPG and tolerate its disadvantages sides to some extent. We found out that the overwhelming majority of participant students experience good feelings about CPG and consider it's an important assessment tool. Nevertheless, impossibility of being always at the desirable physical and mental condition appears to be problematic for students. Thank you for your attention.